Hello, my friends, and welcome back. So I'm doing a video series on how to pass the test for the GED and the high set with my number one tip for each subject. So in this math video, my tip for you is to write down the equations. Okay, now remember, you will be receiving a formula sheet, but not all of the formulas are going to be on the test not on the high set test and not on the GED test. So there are a few things right when you sit down to take the test, you get your scratch paper, write these down. And then as you come across problems that deal with these equations, you will be prepared, you'll be ready to go. Now my first equation here is really just following ratios. So it's part over whole equals part over whole. And this is when you're trying to look at different things. So maybe you're trying to scale something, make something smaller, make something bigger, or maybe you're even dealing with percents. So if you're working with percents, it is also part over whole equals percent over 100. So with both of these, if you have three of the numbers, you can easily figure out that last number. Now, I don't have a video on this yet, so comment down below if you'd like me to make a video where I go over this technique because there are surely going to be several questions on your math test dealing with this. Now, if you're taking the high set test, you need to keep watching the rest of this video. If you're taking the GED, then I recommend you go watch this video so that you practice and really get a little more prepared on the math test. So my GED friends, I'll see you in the next video. High set friends. There are two equations that are not going to be on the formula sheet. So I also recommend writing these equations down. The first one is the Pythagorean theorem. So that is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So that's when you have a right triangle and you're trying to figure out what one of the sides is. And I actually have a whole video where I go over that, so be sure to check out that video. The next one here is a more advanced problem, and this is going to be the quadratic equation. The best way to memorize this is to actually sing it. So, <clears throat> x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Did you recognize it? It was Pop Goes the Weasel. And again, I have a video that goes over it. However, this is going to be a more challenging section. Okay, so watch that video and see if you can understand it, grasp it. But I would say if you're short on time, don't focus your time on this, this part right here, okay? It, if you're college bound, definitely focus on it. Make sure that you know it. But if you're just trying to get your high set, it's not the most important thing for you to know. I would say I'd spend more time on other things, but it's a really good technique and it's actually not that hard. If you have basic algebra down, you should be able to get it, but memorize the song. Sing Pop Goes the Weasel. Your whole family is gonna think you're crazy. <laughs> but it's a mnemonic device that will really help you remember. So my friends, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. I believe in you. Make sure that you believe in yourself too. And write down these equations, right? <laughs> Peace, my friends.